interesting. This is Aaron Coleman, and we're talking with John Ross Palmer about Satori. John, can you tell us what Satori is? Satori, and that's a good question. I first, to do a little background, I the concept and all the thoughts about Satori happened in Tokyo, Japan in 2006. And through years of thinking what I can do with this Satori, three years after that, 2009, the Satori series began. So, Satori, by definition, is sudden enlightenment. Um, I think a lot of people have their definition of what enlightenment is, and people think, okay, an enlightened situation is bliss, total happiness. Yes, I do think that is true, but I read in a book one time, which I think is so profound, before enlightenment, taking out the garbage. After enlightenment, taking out the garbage. <laughs> Meaning, life still happens, things still go on, and the ease of life, I think, is created with enlightenment. He's been known historically for doing series, and he wanted to really think and invest a lot of time in a series that would evolve over different phases, and one that would be um, known and marketed as the most exclusive of his career up until that point. Why did you name? Oh, the I didn't series? know. Okay. Why sorry. did you name the series Satori? Honesty is the best policy, right? I love the word Satori. <laughs> I think it sounds great, but that's not the only reason, of course, that I chose that name. I don't want to put a name on it that's so heavy and harsh. It doesn't get that piece of freedom to fall into somebody else's life. Mm -hmm. Sir? That's it, exactly. Turn it into their own definition. They pick words and make it their own, which I always want my art to be. Mm -hmm. So, yes, Satori is ongoing. In 2009, the pieces were unveiled at the beginning of the year. And five years after that, I'm going to do another series. The Satori series is a very limited ongoing series. The definition of that would be the first grouping of six paintings, 2014, six more, five years from there, 2019, right? Uh, six more. So there's 18 pieces in the Satori series. That's it, done, no more. It's an extremely exclusive series, um, and of the six, four sold um, immediately. Later in, in 2009, um, another sold. Only these 18 pieces. So that's the significance of this series and why we're creating this movies or DVDs to explain what the story is all about. So there remains one more. We were being coached by our business consultant on creative ideas to promote the final piece and sell it and we could not sell it. So right now there's six collectors of Satori and now by them being a Satori collector in 2014 they have the first right to choose a Satori for the next grouping. And if one of them opts out, then a new person can collect one of them. It's hard to stomach it. Mm -hmm. And it was John's idea, we should buy it. We can get on a payment plan. If you're John Palmer Art, we will take a payment plan. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> we have a corporation. We are, we are paid very small salaries. This is another aspect of 2009. That was just you know, difficult. We, we've diminished our salaries to where we get by. Yeah, you know, yeah, we, right. we can eat and and buy some wine. I've always felt Asian influence in my life, connected to the earth. I mean, I don't know where that comes from, but that's just me. And so when I studied in Tokyo, it was incredibly moving for me to study with a calligraphy artist because that it was just that free flow. It's almost like a paintbrush, you know, they're mm -hmm. what we call letters or symbols are like little pieces of art. Mm -hmm. I sort of had this moment of clarity because honestly in 2009, Aaron, we cashed out a tremendous amount of our personal money, personally in our names, personal investments, personal mutual funds, to continue um, to pump it into our business operating account so that we could um, pay the bills and keep the business of John Palmer Art running. I mean, failure was not an option. Right. So with working at that kind of zen, almost calligraphy is where I thought I want to create these real clean paintings. So the technique, color, there's a very base background to all these pieces, very neutral, solid, which is not normal for all my pieces. Mm -hmm. And then through the center, the side, there's an area of 
creation that's made that has a lot of blended colors, but all around it is very basic and serene, almost like an island or peninsula coming out of the side of the piece. And it was in 2010. It's like a moment of clarity. We'd already bought that painting. We'd already bought it 10 times over. And so I just told John and it was just like, uh, these lights went off in our head. So tell me about the uh, 2009 unveiling of the Satori collection. The 2009 unveiling, it was a very exclusive unveiling. So we called collectors we wanted to offer the piece to. Mm -hmm. I made a handful of calls. So the unveiling, we had them in the main gallery. It was just these six pieces. And it was a one-on-one -on -one situation where a person or a couple would come over to view the Satori. So they were not put online. They were not emailed because I didn't want these images to go out. So the unveiling was, was not normally, well, I guess you think unveiling of my art, a big party, a big celebration. It was a very quiet, serene, almost garden, Japan situation was for this show. spiritual? Oh, I think yes, definitely. The three phases of Satori are acceptance, enjoyment, and enthusiasm. And we could not accept the non-sale of that painting. It was a difficult pill to swallow how 2009 had been so f hard for us. But it was over that we had to accept it, that we could enjoy our life. Wow. That happened in our Satori life. Satori happened to you. It, that, that, the phase, it's just like life is a process. That process and the theme of the art series that happened to John and me. Wow. Now the big celebration was after all the Satori pieces were in collections. Okay. Yes, then we had a really exciting dinner at Tony's restaurant. So that was kind of the big parties after the pieces were collected. It was about a year later that Ryan finally organized this beautiful dinner. Uh, Met at the studio, came over here to your studio, did a video about Satori. Well, I am Brad and my wife's name is Diana. My name is Jan and this is my wife, Christine. My name is Lee and this is my wife, Belinda. I'm Christopher, this is my wife, Melissa. I'm John Smith. This is my partner, John Smith. Where is your Satori? It's on above my mantle. It's in the study. It's in our master living room. It's in my office. Uh, it's probably the recognized as one of the favorite in our entire collection. Our Satori helps heal uh, patients who come to see Dr. Martinez. Um, I think our our friends and guests are just now learning that the, the last Satori collectors are Ryan, Lindsay, and John Palmer. And um, we, we tried to sell that last Satori as hard as possible. We wanted to put it to bed and celebrate Satori tonight with all of these great collectors. We are employees of a corporation. Party and, art. And we don't pay ourselves a lot. A common misconception that I am 100% control in charge of the business and John is like an ostrich with his head in the sand. Uh, John is very much in total control of his business or we are as partners mm -hmm. and he is very much informed of everything. Mm -hmm. Now I pay all the bills okay you know I was brought into the business to manage the money, do promotional aspect like I've done with the blog and all those sort of things and events as well as really uh, keep an eye on the books, make sure things are invested well, etc. Number one, anybody watching this video, we do have a book with Christopher Brown and me. It's hey. the Art of Me for Living. Hey. Amazon.com, JohnPalmerArt.com, and then you have your website too. I do. Satori is acceptance, which is what this is, the first series, the first six, enjoyment, and excitement about a situation in life, right? Is that right? So anyway, um, enthusiasm. So this is the first step in Satori. Satori, there's going to be 18 Satoris my whole career. John, in three words. A best friend. Exciting, passionate, and loving. This is so significant for me. My career is growing because of y'all's commitment. I always wanted that exclusive group of people that goes back to when I first started painting in my one bedroom apartment. I knew everybody that was buying one. That's what Satori's about for me, is this is a very intimate group, and we want to honor y'all always and say thank you for doing this and being a part. So thank you.
going to say creative, energized, and crazy. John, you crazy. Thanks, Robert. Now it's not. It's not all. I'm Mr. McCarthy. Uh -huh. Your local retailers today. Don't think that you're off video. I think I said everything I had to say three weeks ago. You did. So I'm all out of. <laughs> so behind our green screen, are we going to be like flying over Greece or something? You're going to make his artwork. The Satori collection. So where are y'all up to? Yes, Tony. And they got a limo, went to dinner, and then had an incredible dinner and experience at Tony's for the celebration of the series being complete for that 2009 grouping.